the championship match continues at the Club 300 Bowl. Walter Ray Williams, Jr. Both frame strike with a spare working. He's going against 45,000 of the winner, 25 to the runner-up. Just a blueprint strike by Walter Ray there in the fourth frame as he opened with a strike, had a four pin. The only ball out of the pocket was in the third. He's come back in the fourth, a seesaw match. As right now, Williams can extend his lead to 12. Walter Ray started good Friday in 10th place, then he won 15 of 16 match play games to become the tournament leader. Let's see if the natural, with his experience, 33 titles, has made the correct move. He's moved to the inside line. He's playing all oil to the pocket. That erratic ball reaction has gotten a double. He can cut the lead of Walter Ray's down to two pins. Well, that's sweet. Mm. Mark Roth, whose best finish this year was ninth last week in the United States Open. Takes guts, Chris, to win as many titles as he has won, but also a lot of guts to bowl after never bowling for a championship, to win a game, then get lost, sneak by Vian Voss, and then make a tremendous big move on the lane. He's moved at least ten boards left with his feet, about six with his eyes, letting that ball slide back in the pocket, and he's right back in the match. He can take the lead with a strike here in the sixth. Let out a little shaft. Four bagger for Mark Roth. The double up shooting in the sixth here is Walter Ray Williams. Two for five. Wow. No wrist. You're right. No wrist. Didn't catch. Amazing how that happens, Walter, when you're bowling a guy with 33 titles. <laughs> Walter with a straight shot is just going to try to get the ball to dissect the two, four, and five straight through. And with 22 second place finishes, last year seven title shows, two fifths, a fourth, a third, and five second place. To clarify that, no wrist. A bowler must keep his hand underneath the ball and snap through the ball in an upward and inside out motion. And that's where you get the count. Hurried, hurried. Hold area. Well, you see him talk, but uh, there's also no swing area. When the ball doesn't come back, he's left the 1, 2, 8, 10 washout. Needs to drive that head pin over in the 10 pin zone. Walter Ray in trouble. Two fierce competitors, Paige Pennington, Walter Ray's fiance. Hmm. Time for Roth to go for the juggler. He can smell it. He knows that Walter's playing that outside line that's spotty. He knows he has the lead, and he can put one big nail into right now to Walter Ray Williams. Oh. Five in a row. Watching along with all of you a devastated Walter Ray Williams. Watch this reaction. First good break he gets in his three games, Chris. He drifts high, has the two pin go to the sideboard, trips out to four. He will leave nothing in the bag here. Roth, a free wheeler. Watch the wrist action here. You want to see some wrist for the money? This will be some whip. And the ardent model train fan. I'll tell you what. Chugging that, along. You're right, partner. And if that ball had gotten away of the train, the train would have had to move on that one. Yep. Caught it all. Dead eye. He's been observing what Ross done. Let's see if he moves inside. That was a strike in the eighth frame for the president of the PBA, Walter Ray Williams Jr. Right now, as Walter looks at the scoreboard, ninth frame, it is absolutely impossible for Walter to win this match against Roth if he doesn't strike on this ball. He can just keep a faint glimmer of hope alive if he strikes here, if 34. Walter Ray, fourth telecast this year. He's had a third, a fourth, and a fifth. You know what? He's just got a second, Chris. Yep. Mark Ross got this tournament well in hand. 
Oh, champ. Been a long time. Just a little sidebar story. We had a tremendous auction here at the tournament last night as the as Craig Charity, that's a wonderful name, uh, auctioned off a lot of the players' bowling balls and equipment, raised over $3,000 for the Children's Miracle Network as we watch this fellow take a victory lap in title number 34. All this in the independent order of Foresters. Championship and fraternal organization more than 1 million members. Headquartered in Toronto. Question I'd like to ask Mark Roth, and if he dreams starting 1995 that the newspaper headlines tomorrow will read Roth 34. I don't know if he even, even he would believe that. Well, sort of timely to go along with his favorite team's world championship, the New York Rangers. Yeah, you can pass the puck in that sport, pal. That's there's, right. There's no passing that bowling ball. It's all your own ability, what God gave you and what you've worked on. This man deserves every bit of it. He lost his confidence. He got his confidence back. I talked to his wife, Jackie, last night. She says Mark has been practicing, lost weight, started training, and now he's back in the winner's circle. Mark Ross. Mark Ross. Mark Ross. Mark Ross. Got a 247 to David Travers, 236, then a 201 to Brian Boss's 196. So, title. First 33, I never saw a tear in his eye. Look at him, Chris. That's a different Mark Roth. You mm -hmm. appreciate those victories at age 44. That's okay now. <laughs> 4, 6, 7, 10. Doesn't matter. Mark will be in the 230s. He's $45,000 richer. We'll be back.